Now, following on from our basic introduction to policies, we have the supporting documents surrounding policies. Policies are the high-level statements, the highest-level statements. And you may have an overall security policy, and then you may have certain uh, subordinate policies in particular areas of security. Uh, you may have a specific networking policy. You may have a specific policy in regard to access control and how you're going to approach that. So, but again, these are, these are high-level statements. What is your your general intent in support of the enterprise's business and their own business mission statement. Having then determined your, your high-level policies, you've got other supporting documents, and as I say, supporting uh, documents um, that are going to give specific direction to the tactical and particularly operational uh, side of, of security. Um, but, uh, you know, start from the top down. Get your, get your general policy in place. Get your, your idea about security. Uh, determine that first. And, and then work your way down and, and make sure that the documents, the, the subordinate documents, do support your high-level policy. Now, you, if you are coming at it for the first time, uh, you may do a bit of iteration here. You may have your high-level policy, and as you start working your way down, start to realize, wait a minute, our <coughs> high-level policy doesn't address uh, some of these areas or doesn't give us any particular support or idea of what we want to do at the lower level. And so you, you need to ensure that you're working properly uh, in that area. So having uh, said that as, as an introduction, what are our supporting documents? Well, First off, there's procedures. And of course, you, you've got policy and procedures manuals. Uh, and certainly if you've uh, ever been in the, the military uh, or indeed many uh, government institutions, um, you will be well familiar with that term. Uh, you may not be particularly familiar with the documents themselves, uh, depending on how often they pull them out. Uh, very often they are created and then shelved and ignored, unfortunately. They shouldn't be ignored. This, is, this should be your guidance, and, and particularly when we deal with procedures. Procedures are what you need to do, step by step. It is a procedure, or actually a bundle of a, a number of procedures uh, for different situations. This is what we do. This is the way that we do it. Uh, these are the checks that go on. Uh, you don't need to, to spell out why in the procedure. The why is, in a sense, uh, already stated in your policy document. The, uh, but the, the procedures definitely spell out the how. You know, what is it that you specifically do at what time uh, what are the checks, what are the, uh, you know, where's the accountability entered, uh, all, all those kinds of things go into the procedures, or in, into the design of the procedures, and as I say, uh, you don't have to specify in the procedure itself why you are doing a certain thing, it's just, you know, this is, this is line operations, this is how we get a certain task done. And we have already determined why we're doing this. 
uh, should revisit it uh, from time to time and make sure that the why is in fact still valid. Are we doing something for a particular reason? There's uh, some interesting examples from the field of accounting uh, where we are still doing things like double entry bookkeeping which is intended to catch arithmetic mistakes and copying mistakes which are not mistakes that computers make so when we have a, a computer accounting system uh, we're using uh, uh, checks for human errors which you know the, the machines aren't, aren't making uh, so yeah there's there's some interesting stuff that we we need to revisit from time to time when we're doing that and anyways so procedures you have your top level policy how do you accomplish things to get to that policy you have the procedures we have also baselines uh, and and baselines as the name suggests is a sort of a minimum standard um, when we set up a firewall this is the minimum standard uh, that we are going to accept uh, sometimes in terms of performance sometimes in terms of uh, the number of items that we catch uh, the number of items it's acceptable to miss that's you know we always aim for a hundred percent there but anyway uh, sometimes we will use baselines to specify we will use this particular product and we will use this particular project with this particular set of settings uh, so you know a baseline is something that we use to say this is you know the minimum that we think we need to keep us safe and you can always exceed the baseline um, in certain situations you'll be thinking okay that's uh, uh, you know it's a little bit more dangerous or in this particular situation we can afford to be a bit more secure here uh, because it's not going to hinder the operation of the business as long as we meet the baseline we're okay now standards uh, uh, it's sometimes hard to uh, make distinctions between standards and baselines because they're, they're going to be very similar this is a standard that we are going to use and you know if it's a metric it's going to look very much like a baseline but you know this is a standard and sometimes the, again the standard is we will have antiviral software we will have a firewall we will have access control uh, of a particular type so that's our standard again it's going to be very similar to a baseline a uh, little bit broader definition though of of what will go into a uh, a standard sometimes it's it's not a metric and uh last but not least guidance guidelines now you will follow procedures you will follow and meet baselines you will follow standards guidelines are in a sense suggestions um, we will use them to support our security operations and make sure that we are as safe as we can be within reason but um, we're not necessarily going to follow the guidelines blindly and to the letter and in that regard next time we will be talking about security frameworks which is really uh, comes under the guideline category